love summertime in the city. The temperature keeps rising and we're not falling behind, turning up the heat, bringing you the latest talents and the greatest hits right here on VMix. My name is Dilshad and on this episode, we've got some awesome firsts. So we've got powerhouse vocalist Stephanie Braganza stopping by with the world premiere of her brand new track and we've got a first look exclusive behind the scenes interview with the frontman of RDB, Manj and his crew. I'm a pretty shy person, uh, actually, and when I'm on stage, it's like, it, it just changes or something. Coming up, the latest from Stephanie Braganza. The atmosphere, um, it's just, it's become like a second nature, second home for me now. Now joining me today is a songstress very familiar with the stage. Stephanie Braganza joins us. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. You've had an amazing year in 2012. You were recognized for live performance at the Toronto Independent Music Awards. Talk to me a little bit about that. It was a great experience um, and especially since um, when I first started out singing and doing stage performance, I was I had terrible stage fright. So um, just being be uh, recognized for that, it was totally an honor. I mean, live performer of the year, that's a real testament to your talent. How do you get into like a, a zen space before you go on stage? For the most part, like my band gives me a lot of encouragement and that's amazing. Uh, I think I'll always be performing with a live band. That's very important to me. Yeah. Um, so headspace, I'm just um, uh, making sure that you know I'm not sick, I'm healthy, and uh, and just going for it. I noticed that you know when you're when you're talking to me, you're so relaxed and you're so calm, and then another personality comes out on stage. You know, do you find that that's like your alter ego, or is it ju just like a whole other part of it? <laughs> um, that's funny. I've actually been told that before. Um, I I'm pretty I'm a pretty shy person uh, actually, and when I'm on stage, it's like. It, it just changes or something, um, I don't know if it's the environment, it's the atmosphere, um, it's just, it's become like a second nature, second home for me now. Right. And, um, and I feel like I can just let loose on stage, it's a little bit different, yeah. yeah. So tell me what you're doing currently, I believe there's something in the works with an iPhone app. There's already an iPhone app, it's free, you can get it uh, off of the App Store, but it's going to be a new release, it's, you're going to be able to check out my shows, know where I'm playing, if I'm playing near you and everything, I'm really excited about this because um, I know a lot of artists don't really have apps. So Yeah, that's interesting, tell me a little bit more about this app, like it's, is it a way people can kind of like, not stalk you, but like people can like <laughs> find out what you're doing? Yes, pretty much, yeah. it's just like pretty much having my website on their mobile. Nice, awesome. Talk to me about the track you have for us today. And this one has been in the works for a while, so I'm really excited about finally releasing it. A couple years now, uh, working with uh, Colin Stewart, and we wrote it, and then we met up with um, uh, Peter Linsman and, and revamped it, and um, now it's out. We uh, spent the past couple months doing a music video, and, mm -hmm. um, and so yeah, really excited. Mm -hmm. Now you call your style like kind of dark pop. Is that what we're seeing here, or is it is it something different? This, this one is going to be a little bit different. Um, it's definitely a more summer, bubbly, more upbeat type of song. The world premiere of your brand new video. So tell us once more about it. So you're going to be seeing "Too Good to Be" by me, Stephanie Braganza. Hope you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. 